East African community have a total land mass of 1.4 billion acres. And those acres are arable land, completely arable. We don't have a desert. All of it can be used for livestock layering or agriculture. Again, we have 5, 000, uh, 6,500 kilometers of coastline that can be used to do business to the Far East, through Indian Ocean, to the Middle East, through the Gulf of Aden, and to the West or America through the Antarctic Ocean because of DRC. Again, we have a population of 350 million people. That is a bigger market. We have the water uh, towers that are bigger than any other place in the world, the Congo Belt and the Mao Forest. So as East Africa, we are an economic bloc that is well placed to recall and to be able to take the leadership of the world from the so-called superpower. You can easily become superpower. We know that there is only one soul alive who can carry the aspiration and the dream of our Pan-African forefathers of uniting the Af Africa into the United States of Africa. And that is none other than His Excellency the Right Honorable Raila Odinga. Honorable Dr. Shiranda here had actually had aspiration of contesting as an AUC chairman. But when he saw Raila Odinga, a guambo, have declared his candidature, he stepped down for him. And so is others who actually wanted. So for us, in East Africa, we support, and as the president has pleaded with us, we support the candidature of Raila Amolo Odinga as the candidate of East African region. And this is the turn of this region. So I don't see any, it is, will be a, a walkover. Rahel Odinga will be the, pre, uh, the chairman of African Union uh, Commission. And again, we have a gap to be able to bridge. A gap between our Pan-African forefathers and the younger generation. The only person who understands both the generations is actually Rahel Odinga. If today I say that I want to be the chairman, or if Dr. Shiranda had succeeded and become the chairman. He never met Nelson Mandela. He never met Kwame Nkrumah. He never met uh, all our Pan-African forefathers, including Muammar Gaddafi and Mugabe. But Raila have met them. Mm -hmm. He may be conversant with the youth, but he's not conversant with the past. So Raila Odinga will bridge the gap between the past, the present, and the future. And that is why we support him. He have met all those Pan-African forefathers. Of course, he have been dancing with the younger generation. He is the father of uh, Kenyan uh, democracy. So we are sure under Raila Odinga will also have this dream come true of the United States of Africa.